Well, there they are. I've been waiting for them almost all summer. And they're crappie. Crappie, should I say? Crappie. Hopefully they're all good. We'll see. Just open them up. I don't know how many days. That says 105. There's 105 crappy. Right. Probably two days anyhow, I would think it took. They're supposed to be three to four inch. Oh, they're in a... Since they're noticed these fish are inspected before leaving the hatchery and packed perfect. And perfect health. We do not guarantee survival as there are too many hazards connected with transportation and water conditions beyond our hatchery control. Do not open until you are ready to pour into the, your pond. Do not pour into the container. Aquarium at Pour fish directly into at least three feet of water where the water is cool and rich in oxygen. And these fish, these fish will not live in shallow water. Well, I'm at five and a half feet, so I'm going to say she should be good. And the water temperature is 58. Because so I just took, well, yesterday was 58. And they're really not too big, but they all look healthy, as far as I can tell. But that might be a good thing. Usually pack them in ice. They're double bagged. That's good. I'll set them in the water for a little bit. Let them get used to the temperature, I think. The water's cold. The water I'm putting them in is cold. Looks like they did some adjusting on it. They do look healthy, I have to say that. Of course, I won't know for sure until I open them all. Here, put this camera down so I can do this. Well, fish all look pretty healthy. Can't deny they're not. They're all alive. Got three bags sitting there. The water temperature, I just stuck that in. Water temperature is showing, uh, 58, probably around that close. And he's a little cooler because his air temperature was 62. It's about six o'clock in the evening, so the sun ain't too bright. So they're saying 57.9. So I'd say 60 degrees is really close. And as far as depth goes, I'm saying three feet of water. I'll take them over in a deeper part. And I have air going in. I have air since they told me they were going to send them. Uh, pumping in there two days now. This water's pretty good. A lot of food in there. A lot of minis. That had minnows. Plus. Uh, small crayfish, not too many crayfish. Springtime be a lot of crayfish. But I'll let them sit for 15 minutes or so at the water. Temperature catch up. I mean, I don't know what else. <clears throat> water quality is. Water quality, I think, is very good. I tested it. Pretty much neutral. But I have a, a gauge over here for water depth. And I mean, this is pretty much even. Depth is all pretty deep. Well, deep for... A 
pond, homemade pond. As you can see, it's, it's marked out. Let's see here what it is out here. This is roughly probably the deepest part. And that's showing right there showing five feet. Very top mark six. So that's five there. And then five and a half and six. So that's probably the deepest. Maybe it might be a little deeper in a couple spots. And I know it's at least where that pump is. At least three, three and a half feet. Yeah, there's, there's over, there's over four. That's the black mark six, and that's five and a half. And there's five, and there's four and a half. So it's at least four feet there. The depth, I don't think it's a problem. Food should be no problem. But I have raised different fish. I, sometimes you just take too much precaution. Oh, let's see here. So I'll put a bag out here, which as you can see right there's like a little landing. And this should drop off real quick. Right here. Should be at least two foot if not more. Well there's almost three. Yeah, there is three. Just push it in the mud a little bit. But there's three, and up there is even deeper. So I'm gonna say I'm probably good here. Just drop them. Yeah, there's three and a half. I'll put a bag here, maybe a bag over there, so they're not all in the same spot at the same time. Well, let me see here. See how that goes. Hard to video them. Put them out at the same time. See if I can get a couple of close ups of the last bag. Yeah, they're a nice size. I don't know. I got them. I mean, there's a bunch of mini running. I don't know if that's just natural. They automatically start feeding like crazy. <laughs> no one thing. At least for the next couple months, they're gonna have a lot of food. There's no predators for them. Except them deer over there.
before him over there. Bow season. So they're being probably a little bit spooked. Not too bad yet though. 